What up, what up, what up, what up? Kelvin James. Okay, so let's get like uh, at least 10 people in the building so that we start talking about what we have on board. I think I've got two people now. Okay, so chat's not visible now. I don't see two people on board. Okay, so um, guys, you can as well share so that we get people on board. Share to Facebook, Twitter, and on WhatsApp. WeChat, probably. Anywhere you think you'd share for people to come on board. I'll be very grateful. Okay, I see you. Still got two people in the building. Okay, I see you, Baby J. I see you. I see you. Welcome. Thanks for coming through. Baby J says, Hi, Gucci. It's me, Oforiwa. I see you. Welcome. Help me share the link to WeChat groups and then uh, WhatsApp and Facebook so that we can get at least 10 people on board. Then we start with what we want to do today. Today, we're going to talk about um, how Chinese people see Africans or what Chinese people think about people from Africa. It's a video I have already done. It's complete now. It's left with some few touches, then it's all done. Then we upload. But uh, to get people's mind about the video first before you post, because normally you just post video and people attack you uh, thinking that uh, what was the motion behind the video? What was the concept? why a day i see i see what was the motive behind the video you just created because content creators just come up with any video at all and then upload so 
I just want to share with my subscribers what is up next and we talk about the way forward. I was thinking that I should get the idea from the ideas of black people first because most black people have this stereotype or perceptions they used to have before they got to China and then realized that, oh, okay, these things that we have back in Afri Africa, it's not what we really thought it, it, it was you get my point yes so same thing are these chinese people we went to them we spoke to them and they were like they've not been to africa before but they have this perception that uh a whole lot a whole lot just help me i need your help right now just share the video let's get people on board at least when we have 10 people on board we can discuss i have my live chat here you can just type anything and then I'll get back to you. I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Let's just share with family. Yeah. Kevin James, I see you. I see you, bro. Ifwa Santoa, baby J. I see you. Welcome. Let's share, let's share the video and then get people on board. Into blank saying hello, welcome. I see you. Much respect. Good evening. It's seven o'clock in China now. Yes. Um, good evening. I appreciate you coming here. Okay, so uh, blank saying today we're talking about some perceptions Chinese people have about Africa or. Um, what people who haven't been to Africa before have about Africa. So that's what we, we, we're talking about today. But before we start, we want to get people on board and so that we we get the ideas and some of the things they also uh, had before they also traveled yes, to China. Yes, yeah. Some of the things they also... So just help me by sharing the video through Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. WeChat. Let's just get people on board. Can our Facebook message always at hand? Okay, that's okay. YT Irish Warrior. YT Irish Warrior. Hi, Stream Shed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, he's coming through from Ireland. Big ups, big ups. Thank you so much for coming through. Like Dan, I appreciate, I appreciate. So um, I think we have five people on board now. If you haven't smashed the like button, kindly smash the like button and share the video for me before we start whatever we have to do today. Thank you so much for coming, YT Irish Warrior. You can feel free to connect to anybody Yes, yes, yes. Smash the like button. Okay, that's that's wonderful. We have 10 people. We have 10 people now. Sam Sam, greetings from Tokyo. Hey, brother. I think Tokyo is Japan, yeah. So Asia, hey. People from Asia in the building. Sam, Sam, good evening, wherever you are. Thanks so much for coming on board. 
likes spark chat let's get it thank you so much sam good evening good evening good evening welcome today we're talking about what chinese people think about africa or how chinese people see africa it's a video my team and i put together and we're going to put it out pretty soon james k upoku james i see you i see you i see you bro welcome okay If you just got into the live screen, I would plea with you to smash the like button for me and share the video. Thank you. Okay, so we have seven people on board. I think we can at least start and anybody that comes inside will also join us. Okay, to, today we're talking about um, how Chinese people see Africa how chinese people see africa i don't know most of you haven't been to china before but people in china we have this uh racial experience racism is everywhere what's the topic about please okay the topic is about how chinese people see africa how chinese people see africa that's the topic today it's a video my team and i has already finished with the touches and everything and we are trying to put it out but before we put it out, we would have to grow the minds of people to understand that this is the main reason why we're doing this video. That's why uh, we're doing the live today. Mary and Darling. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mary. Feel free to connect. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, that's what basically we're talking about today. Uh, in China... I think racism from where i started from racism is everywhere we all know it we've been it's in football it's in what it's our workplaces it's it's everywhere racism it's everywhere but with chinese people they do it right in front of your face to let you see that no we don't like you that's how chinese people are back in other places i think they'll do it without your you even noticing i lived and teached in yanchan city xinan province Thank you so much. So I think you'd understand what I'm saying very well. And you'd also know that um, we're not just cooking up stories, but rather uh, we're trying to share experiences we are going through as black people in China. Okay, so the good part of Chinese people is that Chinese people are very, very welcoming people. They're very good people. Trust me. I have a Chinese friend. I can boldly say that uh, she's, she's a she. Okay, so uh, she's one of the best people who I've ever met in my life. So most of them are very good. But today we're talking about the aspect of concerning the video, uh, people who haven't been to Africa before and they have this crazy perception. <laughs> I'm just waiting that you watch the video and you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so we asked, oh, that's my sister. That's my sister, Mama Ray Ray. <laughs> Mama Ray Ray in the building. Hello, Mr. Knowledge. Good morning. Good morning, Mama Riri. Thank you so much for coming. If you don't have Mama Riri, kindly check her out. She has awesome content. Uh, she's been talking about food, cereals, whatever you need to have for breakfast. She has an awesome content. You can check her out. And then this is not sub for sub. Just check the content out. If you think you like it and you think it's good enough, uh, you just leave a genuine comment and she's going to get back at you. Yes, so that's it. Feel free to connect to anybody you think you don't have so that uh, we all grow together. Loyalty, that's what I always say. Try as much as possible to leave a genuine comment, make it stick. Don't just, hey, new friend. No, that's a spam. So just leave a genuine comment and you try to stay connected. Yes, that's it. Okay. Open racism is like a norm in China. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You'd sit in a bus and you can see that the bus is full. And when you look at right beside you, the seat there is empty and somebody has to sit by you. But none of them, n nobody, nobody would want to sit by a black person. And they are like, oh, you offer him, oh, Neil, so, so, so. Yo, Isa, she'll not even look at you. 
because she does it that is their perception but we don't blame them though that's why we want to talk about the video because before it comes out uh this is lisa good work gucci abna lisa i see you good evening wherever you are thank you so much for coming uh one of my loyal subscribers abna lisa thank you so much i want you to do one thing for me kindly share the video to wechat facebook instagram twitter to get people on board let's talk about how chinese people see africa most of chinese people have been to africa so some of them understand i spoke to one or two people who have been to africa before and they were like uh there is gold in africa and uh, africans are nice people they are passionate about a whole lot of things stuff that you can relate and they were all positive but most of them i interviewed none of them have been to africa before so i asked one lady so the first one was with uh one lady i asked her have you been to africa before and she was like no i haven't been to africa before so what is your perception about africa or what have you heard about africa and uh because we are close she just got to know that i circumcised my son and she was like okay i've been hearing about circumcision in africa and i hear it's compulsory no matter what if you're born you need to be circumcised and not only with male kids it's also with females <laughs> and i was like okay so i just had to keep quiet and listen to her so she kept on ranting uh i even heard of a model who was circumcised and she couldn't use the washroom for a while i was like what happened hey my brother it's unfortunate i can't i can't i speak i speak chinese though but i can't read the chinese characters that is very difficult that is very difficult and they will not be covering <laughs> And they will be covering their nose. <laughs> okay, so uh, friends, friends who are also here experiencing the same kind of racism is what they are also sharing. Don't forget to smash the like button and share the video. We have seven people in the building. We have three likes. Don't forget to smash the like button. Okay, so we're still on it. So the woman kept on saying, uh, black people are wild she also mentioned that uh she knows that africa is a very large place we don't have food we don't have clothes she kept on saying a whole lot but what got me was the fact that she thinks that even females are circumcised okay so let's make this point clear in africa even with male kids boys not everybody is into circumcision circumcision is something like a belief or a religion that the people from jew People who from Israel who are Jews are into it. They think that when you are circumcised, it's 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 it makes you kind of clean to be part of God. Or I don't I don't I don't really know why uh, people have this perception that circumcision is kind of oh you're sensitive. There are all kinds of people in the world. Oh, you're sensitive. There are all kinds of people in the world. There are good and bad Chinese. Yes, my friend. Yes, that is what I'm saying. I have a Chinese. I, 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 I said this. I don't know if you just came inside, but I said this. I have very good Chinese friends. I have about four or five good Chinese friends who are very understandable. They know everything about the black race. They know everything about the black culture and they accept me for who I am. You understand? So not all Chinese people and it's global. Even black people, we are racist. Trust me. Racism stuff from black people. Black people are very racist. Even in our tribe, we have people who do not want to marry people from the other tribe. You get it. So racism is everywhere. But we are talking about the fact that uh, mm. some Chinese people, because they've not been to Africa before, they have this perception that Africa is a wild place. Africa is a dirty place. Africa is uh, Africans do not have food to eat. We don't have sufficient water. Like there is no good thing in Africa. You get it. My, my friend, I don't, I don't know if you understand me. If I'm speaking too fast, forgive me. Let me speak kind of tr uh, slow. They are better than Japanese people. <laughs> okay, that is also Sam's experience. Sam is also, big shout outs to Sam. Sam is in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, Sam is a friend, a brother. I think we went to the same tertiary. Yeah, big ups, as poly guys. I see you, Sam. So that's what we're saying. Um, with Chinese people, a lot of them do not have an idea about africa when a chinese people when a chinese person says that fei fei means a place where nothing nothing is nothing is nothing good comes from that place fei so feijo 
But one thing I, I, I get pissed or Gucci only two emojis or it's going to create spam. Exactly, exactly. Mama Ray Ray. I think I should make Mama Ray Ray an admin. Okay. Just a moment, Mama Ray Ray. Trying to. Okay, so I'm trying to manage the moderators, and I think Kelvin James and Mamarui will be my moderators. Yes, Chinese also look down on people from other cities like. Shahani Shahaniyas look down on Virginias. That's very true. That's very that's very true. That's very true. Oh, no. Okay, let me just do it this way. Paste new moderator's URL. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, in order not to create spam and then some of the videos, sorry, some of the comments might not be visible because we have it spammed with a lot of emojis. I think we should stick to one emoji. Yes, one emoji. You just make shout outs to the person. I don't know why I'm finding it difficult to do this. Chat viewing options. Top chat, live chat. I'm trying to make my Marui anatomy straighter or moderator to so it's that paste new moderator's channel URL. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, so let's continue. Let's continue. They closed down two of my friends' channel. That's good, Sam. Chinese are on a different level of racism. I'm good, Mama Riri and you. That's good, Sam. I'm in the USA. All right. They closed down two of my friends' channel. That's serious. Wow. That's serious. Okay, so we're still back on what we're talking about. We're talking about how Chinese people see Africans in particular. You can do it later. Let's hear what you have to say, please. Okay, okay, Mama Rui, let's just continue. Okay, so uh, back to what we're saying. So this woman said concerning circumcision, she's like, 
uh, a model was also circumcised and she was finding it even difficult to use the washroom and i was like okay so where did you hear this news from and she was like okay i i read the news on my phone and one thing you should know about china is that i don't know if you've checked my channel to watch a video concerning vpns in china they do not see things outside china outside the world because they are communist countries china is one of the five communist countries in the world so they do not have any idea about what is happening outside the world we do not use facebook snapchat twitter instagram youtube everything we do not use in china before you'd have to use that you'd have to use a vpn so that you can surpass that app you get my point yes so uh basically every chinese with the exception of those who are enlightened sorry for using this kind of language with the exception of those who are enlightened or those who have traveled around to understand continue with the conversation to understand what uh the the outside world also has to offer that is how come they understand that okay we have to use vpns to use this to use that and uh do certain stuff but those who do not know these vpns or those who do not have any idea about what is happening outside them because they don't have google they don't have this paula m hello paula good evening hey i see you thanks much love um they do not have any reason at all what they do is that they have their phones and that is where they research from because when you people have youtube like let's say you let's use people in the u.s for example since my mario is in the u.s us people or people in the us have youtube or people outside the world have youtube these people also have uh yuko you have whatsapp they have wechat you have google they have badu so these are the applications they use so a lot of things are not reported to them so that's what they say so i don't blame them so when the interview was going on i i had this idea that no i don't blame these people because they do not understand what is actually happening outside the world. So uh, I spoke to her concerning that uh, not all black people are circumcised. Even with black people, not all of us believe in circumcision. And uh, in Africa, we call it female genital mutilation. Also, QQ. Yes, they also have QQ. QQ music. Yes, that's what they use in India, bars, India, nightclubs, everything. So I spoke to them about female genital mutilation and I told them that even with that, Africans are trying to eradicate that because not everybody is into that. We find it very hard just to circumcise the female, just um, try to tease the clitoris and when it's up, you use a sharp object to just cut it. That is some, something a lot of people are fighting against. The women, women rights activists are standing on these things and then they're fighting against it. So I, I wonder how they got to this idea that if you're a black person and you're a female, it's compulsory that you're going to be circumcised. So I told them that, no, it's not possible. We don't do that in Africa. Even parts of Africa that used to do that, we are trying to bring them to book. The law is trying to tell them that these things you're doing is not right. But circumcision in Ghana or uh, in Africa, parts of Africa, I'm from Ghana though, parts of Africa that are into male circumcision, understand that not everybody even is into uh this kind of circumcision so uh they understood but they were saying that uh, my phone is still telling me that you if you're a female your parents will force you to circumcise and i was like no that is not true so the last question the woman also said i'm fine dear how about you okay mama really paul, paul paula is asking you she's also fine okay make new friends guys Okay, so uh, back to what we we're saying. There was a lady sitting beside her, and she was she she also was like. So in Africa, are females also given the opportunity to also be like men? Do men and females, like women and males, that have the same, like pedigree? Do they stand up tall to each other? Because I hear in Africa, women are slaves. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, where did you hear that? You understand nothing at all trust me how did you how did you hear that so she was like okay my phone my phone everything you asked them my phone but this one was like uh i watched it on cctv cctv is a chinese station that shows the most ugliest part of africa 
if you sit here and you watch what CCTV, I don't know if CCTV 544 shows or tells Chinese people about Africa, you'll be marveled. Trust me. But it's all good. Not all of them do that. They're same CCTV. Some of them show the bright side or the good side of Africa. But did you not tell the natives? How many Chinese people even have time to watch TV? You get it. All they have is their phones. And anytime they Google everything about Africa, this is what comes up. But I don't blame them though. I sometimes blame our people. Because in Africa, we have to start telling our own story. People like Wodamaya, people like Napi, people like Trudy, people like um, African Tigress, people like... A lot of people are trying to put Africa on the map because they're showing the bright side of Africa. That's what we're trying to do. But most African people do not. We had this video recently and then it was circulating through WeChat. There's this African guy I had. He's from Nigeria. And uh, all this video he's doing is... We don't even know the concept behind the video. That he keeps on eating from beans. He keeps on going to restaurants with torn clothes. A whole lot. And he's getting the attention of the Chinese people. Imagine the Chinese person have this perception that, no, you're a black person. Chinese people, when they see you and you are black, what comes in mind is that he's from Africa. The first thing that comes to a Chinese person's mind when he sees a black person is Africa. So when he sees you, he's like, Is she Fejo Rema? Are you from Africa? But on a right note, when somebody meets you for the first time, I think the person is going to be like, Where are you from? Is she Naga Goja? Where are you from? And then you'd say, oh, maybe I'm from Ghana. I'm from South Africa. I'm from this. No. When they meet you, the first question that comes out is, uh, is she Fejo Rema? Are you from Africa? So they have this idea that all black people are from Africa. So sometimes when I meet them, I tell them that, why don't you ask me where I'm from? Do you know where I'm from? Just ask me where I'm from. Where are you from? Then I'll tell you, oh, I'm from Ghana. I'm from Africa. A lot of Chinese people even think that Africa is one big country. They don't know that we have about 54 African countries. Paula, it's a conversation they go through from an early stage. I don't, I don't, I don't blame, I don't blame them. That is, that is my point. I don't blame them. I quite remember my first year in China, I was now picking the language. So I was in Thailand with my brother and I was climbing the staircase. I met this old lady with his son with her son sorry and she was like the boy said nai 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 kind why go around look at a foreigner that's what the boy said grandma grandma look at a foreigner and the woman said Boucher, tashi the woman just said he's from africa so imagine this small boy has this perception that no i saw a black person He's a foreigner. Why Gorian? Black person, foreigner. But the old lady, who is old enough to even be my mother, she just said that, no, he's not, he's not a foreigner. He's from Africa. So are, for, are Africans not foreigners? That's my question. We leave it to them. So back to the conversation. So the lady was like, uh, because in China, we have this idea that one thing you should also know is that in China, women are the head of the family. Women are the head of the family in China. Women control everything with accounts, with the house stuff, with everything, everything concerning money. It's about the women in China. But it's different with Africa. I don't know about other places. I'm talking about from Africa. Africa, I think the man is the man, the man is the man of the house. So the man is going to control everything that's going on concerning finance, concerning feeding, shelter, everything. It's the man. So she was like. I heard in Africa, they do not give the ladies or the women that opportunity to be the head of a family. Akusia Kunedu. Akusia Kunedu, is it my sister? <laughs> hey, welcome. I see you, sweet sis. Welcome. Can you do me a favor and then share the video? We have 14 people in the building. Please smash the like button for me. Let's get the likes up and share the video and then let's get more people in the building. Okay, so uh, back to what we're saying. So the lady was like, same system in Japan. So it's, it's like an Asia thing. It's like an Asia thing. So I got, I got her to understand that, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. 
women are even given the opportunity to be uh, ministers of state. Women are given the opportunities to own their own businesses. So the fact that we have uh, people in Africa, that is kind of different. My life, yes. Hello, good evening, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Feel free to connect with anybody you don't have. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, that's it. I spoke to her and she was like, okay, now I understand you. I understand you. But my phone is saying a different thing. That's it. So you can see that at the end of the video, I always say that wherever you are, I cannot push this agenda on my own. Just one man. I can't, I can't do this by myself. So what you have to do to help me is that wherever you are in your vicinity, you try to educate a Chinese person. Don't just think that it's one Chinese person that you're talking to. Chinese people talk to themselves. For example, if you're in a building, you just rented an apartment. When you come to the apartment, the first person you meet, be nice to the person. That's it. All the Chinese people will be nice to you. The first person you meet, the person is going to ask you, where are you from? Then you tell the person, I'm from Africa. Everybody in the building will know that there's an African living in this building. You tell him or her, what do you do for a living? Shama Konzo. You tell her, oh, I'm a, I'm a teacher. Oh, he's a teacher. You tell everybody in the building that you're a teacher. So if you get one Chinese person to educate the person concerning Africa, I think when he goes out there, he's also going to talk to people about Africa. And the positive ones are what he's going to say to them. Trust me. So it's about time we start telling our own story. We don't need this CCTV stations we don't need this and that and that and that is what is keeping africa going you get it so uh the other another thing is um i also spoke to a couple of them and one man was also like uh africa is a nice place to be uh i haven't been there though but i heard that in africa they are very passionate about their dance they have this african drum they always play uh he also made something so I asked him that uh, it's 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 money in Africa. Have you heard that there's money in Africa? So he was like, yes, I hear Af money is in Africa, but Africans do not have money like Chinese people. So I, I just started laughing. But we all know that we also have a billionaire in Africa. Dangote is in Nigeria, one of the biggest billionaires in the world. So all these things, I don't think they know. And our media is not putting Africa on the map. That is the problem. So I spoke to them and then I left the place. I spoke to a couple of the young ones who have also heard stuff about Africa. And they were like, okay, uh, we hear that Africa is very hot. <laughs> Africa is very, 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 very hot. Okay, so in Chinese, when we say Fei Chan, Fei Chan, it means very, very. But everybody on this live stream who is in, in China will bear with me that China is hotter than Africa. China is hot than Africa. I'm sitting here. You can see, I'm even sweating. I have to turn on the AC. Babe, please turn on the AC for me. You get it. Africa is, is, is hot. We all believe that. They even have the perception that the sun made us black and even their country is hotter than africa exactly exactly IEJ, thank you so much for coming on that's what i'm saying chinese people have this perception that it's okay thank you chinese people have this perception that africa is hot but you can do the analysis you just go people who use iphones you just go to um uh, you want to check the weather and then you check the current state of Africa. Africa will be like 28 and China is around 32 degrees Celsius. So you can just imagine. But if you tell the Chinese person, oh my God, China is hotter than Africa. You tell you no. You people, the, Africa is too hot. That, that is what is making you black. Imagine, I, I, I remember when I had my boy and all of them started trooping inside just to see if he's going to be black just like I am. And funny enough, they asked her mother, his mother, and he was like, why, why is your son not black? <laughs> okay, so when we are born, we are not black. But our genes, eventually, when we're growing up, we tend to be black. But we're proud that we're black. The fact that we are black doesn't stop us from being part of human race. You get it? If you, 
people will be telling you that if you trace down, down, down to the, to the, to, to, to ancient times, you understand that black people were the first creation ever. But hey, who is going to admit? Nobody's going to admit that this, this, this. Okay, if you just got inside, kindly smash the like button. We have 12 people in the building. Kindly smash the like button. And let's keep the conversation moving. Thanks so much for coming. I have so much people in the house. Of course, you're going to do some, some. Mama Ray Ray, Mama Ray Ray. My life, yes. James, Kelvin, I see you, bro. And then we have Aya J. Paula. Yes, it's so damn hot. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. China is hot. Black is a state in china it's it's so true it's so true and uh i spoke to them concerning the fact that china is hotter than africa they've not been there so what else can they say okay so we moved on and then we came back to these kids <laughs> hey stop getting me laughing Fajorian. okay so we say fejo fejo simply means that uh somebody from africa that's why i explained How's the baby? The baby is good. Zexus is fine. He's awesome. He's sleeping, by the way. He has changed my sleeping mode now. I, I, I don't get much of sleep today. BN Technical Natural. Hello. Good evening, brother. Thank you so much for coming in. Don't forget to smash the like button for me. And feel free to connect to anybody you don't have. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so um, back to what we're saying. So I spoke to them that, no, Africa is far, far cooler than China because it's very hot in China, even though it's it's summer and everybody knows how, how, how you, I'm great, I'm great, my friend. I'm also good. I'm good. I hope you are too. I hope you are too. Thanks for coming. I appreciate a lot. So that was it. And then I also spoke to one or two people. I also spoke to one or two people about what they think about black people and how they see Africa. So the other lady also was like, uh, there's no water in Africa and we do not have much of food and Chinese people always come to our rescue. And uh, one other thing, that's what she said. And I was like, okay. So back when we were in school, I quite remember when we were in, I think, junior high school, we collected money to be given to Chinese people for, we, we like, we, we mobilized money and then we sent it to China. I don't know if the teachers were just playing with our minds or they wanted to collect money from us. But I think this news was all over Ghana that Chinese people needed money. We needed to send them money and it was that, it was this. But all the same, hey, who is there to admit? Indeed. We have to educate the Chinese to know there are a lot of good things in Africa. Kelvin, thanks so much for coming in the building. Smash the like button for me. I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much. Share the video. Share the video. Okay, so um, back to the question. So what are we telling us or what are we telling ourselves as Africans? What are we telling ourselves as black people? It's about time we tell our own story. We let these people understand that whatever they hear about Africa or what perception they have about Africa, it's never like that. But one thing in China, I, I, I really don't didn't want to say this. If you're an African and you're in China, I'm sorry, Thomas. Hey, bro, I see you. Much love. Thank you so much for coming. One thing I have to, I, I, I didn't want to say this, but I think I have to say it. Chinese people do not like African people to even work for them. It's that bad. It's that bad. You can lose your job just for the fact that you're saying you're from Africa. It's not that your boss don't understand you. Some of the bosses have traveled a lot, so they understand that if you say you're from Africa, they even have this perception that, okay, oh, people in Africa are also natives. They've also learned a lot. They, they are good. They are this. They, the bosses understand. But the parents will insist that the fact that you are from Africa will not let you teach our kids. That's what's happening. The fact that you are from Africa will not allow you to teach our kids. No, you can't teach our kids because you are from Africa. You do not, you do not, why are you even, 
being able to speak english because we know that people from africa can't speak english we know that people from africa live on trees we know that people from africa do not even put on clothes this is what perception they have so sometimes when you work with chinese people and you lie about your nationality just to secure your job okay i'm from america i'm from canada i'm from germany i'm from france i'm from ireland and then you get the job and then you work with them for some months years they get to understand you they get to relate to you some of the teachers if they should stop the school today i think the school is going to collapse because the school was built on them but they do not know that these teachers are from africa so supposing that if these teachers are bold enough to now come out and then tell them that okay so this is me the fact that you like me i remember i was in a bus when a woman approached me and she was like you really smell nice where are you from i was like i'm from ghana west africa she was really west africa she was like really i thought africans exactly exactly so the idea that africans do not even smell nice <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god i i don't want to say this but i think i have to say it no disrespect to any chinese person on my stream i already said this chinese people are great people they are awesome people i love them so much i have people i could lay my life down for their chinese people you get it but there are some chinese people who do not understand she said she really thought africans smell bad who do not understand everything about africa the fact that i've stayed with a chinese person before my first year in china i was staying with a chinese person i think he was he was he was my co-teacher, but he was he was the head of the teachers. We lived in a two-bedroom apartment. He stayed there, and then I stayed in the other one. And could you imagine that I never saw him bath? I never, never did I see him bath. Not in the morning, not in the evening. When he wakes up in the morning, he goes to the tap. He 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 he, he brushes his teeth, and then he uses water to clean his hair, and that's it. Off he goes. Sometimes he can put on his clothes for the whole week. Throughout the week, from Monday to Friday. But this same person who sees me bath in the morning, in the evening, brush twice a day, will still sit somewhere and tell you, no, you smell. I think you're from Africa. I think you don't bath. You people don't even take showers. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. It's something that, like Elvin James said, they have this... It's installed in their brain, in their memory, and it will be very hard for you to change it. It will be very, very hard for you to change it. A lot of people you must lie to secure your job that's so true that's so true in china you should lie to secure your job or else or else if parents should find out that hey you're from africa that is the end they'll all take their kids from the school so that back to what i was saying so if you're bold enough to even come out and then tell them that okay uh excuse me guys one minute They gossip rough. Galax smelling people. Oh my god, you must lie to secure job. I also remember a lady teacher told me Africans smell bad. So I asked her, Do I also smell bad? And she said, No, because you are from America. So that is it. I think what am I? I did a video and then decided to show them pictures of Africa. And pictures of uh, America like nice pictures of Africa and then very disturbing pictures of uh, America and ask them where do you think this is is it Africa or America so they all said that all the nice places are America and all the dirty places 
uh, Africa. But meanwhile, it was vice. It was the other way around. So that is the idea. They think that America is the promised land. There is nowhere like dirty places in America. There's no ghettos in America. There's. We have 10 people in the building. Kindly smash the like button if you haven't do done that. I'll be very grateful. 11 people. Please smash the like button. Let's keep the video going. And let's share. Let's get more people in the house. <laughs> they like to gossip too. <laughs> that is that is a Chinese norm. That is a Chinese norm. When a Chinese person sees you, instead of like when we black people when we are gossiping, we will let you go so that we talk. Did you see that guy? Oh, the shirt that he was wearing. Oh, he looks very dirty. Something like that. But no, right in front of you, Chinese people will be doing like. <laughs> and then sometimes too, they say it out loud. For you to even understand what you're saying. And most of the times, we pretend that we don't understand the language. So they'll just ask you. Uh, Can you speak Chinese? And then he said, you just shake your head. And then you tell his, you tell his other friend. Mm, timber dong, timber dong. Timbudon, Timbudon. Okay, so Timbudon simply means that you don't understand anything. So when they say that, you just keep quiet. Then you understand what you're going to talk about, what they're going to say about you. A lot. They would say a lot about you. They would say a lot about you. Bucket list chairs. Hello, good evening, welcome. I appreciate your presence so much. Thanks for coming. So uh, back to what we're talking about. So sometimes you, ju you just have to even lie to secure your job in China. You have to lie because the very moment, Royal Vlogs, Royal Vlogs. Hello, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your presence. Thank you so much for coming. Feel free to connect with anybody you don't have. And don't forget to smash the like button for me. Thank you. So today's topic, what we're talking about is how Chinese people see Africa. There's a video I'm going to upload maybe tomorrow or Saturday. It's done. My team and I, we're done. So probably we'll be uploading it tomorrow. But to get the consent of uh, my fellow black people or Africans about the video, because it's going to be a controversial video. A lot, a lot of negative stuff that the Chinese people said about Africa. That is going to trigger people about what I'm posting. Because uh, people will say that, how can you post something like this? But hey, you can blame them. They don't know. Most of them saw these things through their phones. Most of them saw these things through their um, CCTV TVs, uh, seen on TV stations and stuff. Chinko people do worry rough rough. I swear. I swear. I swear. So that's it. That's it. And uh, one other thing. I also spoke to one particular person. He was a kid, one of my students. I think his name is Max or some yes, Max or Wayne. He's very, very young. He's 13. So I asked him, uh, Wayne, have you been to Africa before? He said, No, teacher. So what have you heard about Africa? He said that um I hear Africa is very, very big, and then their climate system is just uh it's summer throughout and uh, he also said that there's a lot of money and minerals. So I'm like, how, how did you get to know that there's minerals in Africa? And he said, no, I, I've been reading about it. I hear there's a lot of minerals in Africa. And if you are going to Africa today, the plane that you're going to get on, I think 80% of people on the plane are Chinese going to Africa. So you ask yourself, why are all these so many Chinese going to Africa? What are they going to do there? That's what you should be asking yourself. But they come back and they do not educate their people. They come back and they do not educate their people that when we went to Africa, this is what we saw. We saw that there are people who even live better than people in China. We saw that there are people who even drive better cars. Nice to see you. Thumbs up. Chest Crystal, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. <laughs> They're going for our gold. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. 
we also have ourselves to blame because these people do not know that the gold is here or the gold is there. You get it. So they come to our chiefs, they give them money, they manipulate them, they give them amnitions and stuff, machines for digging these gold and all these things are bought in Ghana. They don't export these things to Ghana. They are bought in Ghana. So there are people who lead them to these places, those Galamse people, to take our gold, to do this, to... You can you can just imagine you can just imagine what they've done to the water bodies in Africa. We have ourselves to blame sometimes because all these things that they are doing, they are being led by our same pe our, our, our same black people who are helping them to do this. So back to the main topic today: how Chinese people see Africa. So uh, I think I'll also leave the comments to you so that I get your experience. I think a lot of people also have experience to share. Most people are also in China. They've experienced all these things that I'm talking about. Sometimes you sit in a bus and nobody sits by you. Sometimes you enter an elevator and nobody enters. Though the next elevator is around 17 to 15 floor, not even coming down anytime soon. But you have this one which is opened and you enter and nobody enters. Uh, when they see that you're in an elevator and they open and see you, they just go back. Um, what are some of the other stuff? Taking pictures randomly. I've forgotten. Okay, so you are a star when you're in China. Another thing is about dressing. One woman asked me, are you from a rich family? I asked her why. She was like, you always wear expensive things. And I was like, yeah, I'm from a family of doctors. <laughs> My brother, I want to marry, but my little sis in Ghana, I want to marry your little sis in Ghana. Seriously. <laughs> okay. So, um, are you a J? Chinese people believe everything you tell them. Chinese people, they believe everything you tell them. I'm from America. I'm from a family from, do I'm, I'm from a doctor's family. My father is a lawyer. My daddy is this. My Chinese person will believe. Just show him one or two things and she's going to believe. He's going to believe. But at, at the end of the day, what you should also know is that Chinese people are very curious people. Curiosity. Curiosity. Chinese persons. They want to know what you eat, how you eat, where you sleep, what you have inside your room. You'd have a Chinese friend and you just bump into your room. Just like that. Chinese mentality, Kelvin James. I want to marry your little sis in Ghana. You've answered you, Jemfi. My little sis is just 18 years. Really? <laughs> okay, so let's wait till she's 23. Then she can decide. Okay. Anyway, thanks for coming through. It's high time we, the Africans, do not allow Chinese to take negative pictures in Africa because Chinese will not allow a foreigner to take any of their negative pictures in China. Positive. In China, you can't do anything you think you like. We have an application in China we call WeChat. Seriously, even my grocery bag, they pee. Exactly. We have an application we have in China, WeChat. And they monitor everything we have on WeChat. I did a video on my other channel concerning fraud and drugs. You can't do these things in China. Fraud and drugs. Forget about it. You can do it any other way in the world. But not in China. Fraud and drugs. So the very moment you start talking about these things or talking about a coup, talking about the government, Chinese people will locate you within a few hours. They'll just find where you are and then that is it. And if you start promoting negative stuff about China, trust me, they'll, they'll come for you. So that's it. So why can't we as Africans do the same? Why don't we let them know that, no, you can't take these pictures. I saw a video online recently and there was this Indian man who threw stuff from his car. By the roadside and i don't know what happened but somebody stopped him and told him that you can't do this in your country so you can't do this in ghana they gave him a broom and then he started cleaning the whole place so it's about time we let them know that no you can't just leave your country and then come and stay here and do anything you want because you think that uh, when you come here and you change your money it's a whole lot and you can just manipulate your ways through the system so we just leave you to do whatever you want to do no it's not like that because a lot of people take pictures they come here I wish sometimes you could see some of the negative videos that circulate on uh, the WeChat platforms concerning Africa. People, Chinese natives, go to Africa. They give them food. 
they, they take these kids and then try to teach them Chinese. What are these kids in Africa using these Chinese language for? They teach them all these things and then they video it and then come and show it to the people in China that this is the Africa you people don't see. This is what is happening in Africa. Meanwhile, we have nice places. Much respect to the president of Rwanda. Much, much respect to the president of Rwanda. He has done marvelously well. Because when we were kids, we had a whole lot about Rwanda. Wars in Rwanda, stuff in Rwanda. But today you can boldly say that Rwanda is the most developed country in Africa as we speak. You get it. So it's about time we let them know that no, there is a new Africa. There is a beautiful Africa out there. There are a lot of wildlife in Africa you need to see. I have a video I, I want to do. I'm still planning on it. Uh, I did this research, research, sorry, and I got to know that, yes, they monitor everything. Seriously, even... Yes, I agree. Exactly. I made a research concerning uh, China, their wildlife. And I got to understand that it's only in China we have pandas. Everywhere in the world that is having a panda or pandas are there are being lured out by the Chinese people and then collecting money from them. So we don't have pandas anywhere in the world except China. So anywhere you have pandas, it's being given to them by Chinese people. So I found that interesting. I heard they are in uh, one of the provinces. Is it? I've forgotten, I've forgotten, I've forgotten. So I decided to go there and see for myself if I can... I haven't seen a panda before because pandas are not found in Africa. But I've been to the Beijing Zoo before. I want to go there. I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard to also go there and then do some life or cover one or two things in. And trust me, the things that we have... The wildlife we have in Africa is nowhere compared to what they have in China. What do they have in China? These animals. These animals are found in Kumasi Zoo. They, they don't even have elephants. They don't have a whole lot of animals Chinese people do not have. But the kind of branding they've made the place look like. You have to pay money before you enter. They have side attractions. They have... I'm not, I'm not exaggerating anything. The animals they have in Beijing Zoo. Different types of animals shouldn't be more than 50. They are not more than 50. But you go there and then how they've presented these animals to you. These snakes they see. These snakes don't even move. But when you go to Africa, we have giraffes, we have elephants, we have hyenas, we have buffaloes. We have a whole lot of animals. All we need is branding and how we're going to package for people also around the world. Dubai has nothing. Dubai has nothing. But because they have this mind of, no, Dubai should be a tourist site for people to come and see what we have. They get all these things from these places and then take it there. So now everybody wants to troop into Dubai to see what is happening there. You get it. So it's about time we look at what we have as Africans. Master on that. And then brand it for people to come all over from wherever they are to just come and see what we also have as Africans. You understand? Sometimes it's sad that you listen to comments from people who haven't been to Africa. And negative comments is all they have to give about Africa. And you sit back and you're like, how, why, why? Who is even giving you the chance to speak this ill about Africa? You haven't been there. So what do you know about Africa? That's what my phone is telling me. Africa is this, Africa is that, Africans do not have food to eat. Fortunately, we have to go through all these things just to educate them. People in China will understand these very, very... I, I hear there is racism in Germany, but I haven't heard of open racism in Germany. But in China, open racism is the key word. They would see you and they'd be pointing at you. Look at him, look at him. People will even be laughing at you like there is something wrong with you. Kids will be telling their parents, "Can, Mama, can." It's it's sad, it's sad. So I just leave it for uh, friends. If you have anything to also add up or any question, you can just type and then I'll I'll just talk to you or try to explain to you what is actually happening.
in China. Or if you're also in China, you can also add something up and then we also talk about it. Today's topic is about how Chinese people see Africa. It's how time we Africans do not allow Chinese to take negative pictures because Chinese will not allow a foreigner to take any of their... Exactly, exactly. These people do not even want you to take pictures of them. That's true. That's so true. Okay, guys, so we're still on it. Uh, the video is going to be out tomorrow, which is Friday or Saturday, hopefully. You know, very Friday. How Chinese people see Africa or how Chinese people see Africans. The video will be out tomorrow or Saturday, hopefully. So uh, this is the main reason why I wanted to do the live to clear the air before the video comes out, you get to understand that these Chinese people do not know anything about Africa. But we're just putting a video out there so that you outside China will also understand that this is how Chinese people think about Africa. So whenever you have the chance, hi bro. Hello, good evening, Mr. I think that with the name, forgive me, I can only mention the Mr. I cannot see the rest, but I appreciate your presence. Thanks so much for coming inside. Smash the like button for me. Thank you so much. So that's it. That's it. Uh, we're getting the idea that try as much as possible. Any chance you get, you meet a Chinese person, educate the person concerning Africa. Even if you have to secure your job by telling the person you're from America or something, try as much as possible to also educate them about Africa. Tell them that we have an Africa that they do not see. And if she's giving you the chance to show him or her how Africa looks like, you, you, you are very, you're always welcome to also show him. Are you back in Harbin or still in Beijing? Hey, I think the guy knows me so well. <laughs> okay, so I'm in Beijing now. I, I've left Harbin for almost two years now. I've been in Beijing all this while. I'll be, I'll be coming to Harbin. I don't know when, but uh, I think these holidays are trying to come to Harbin because I have a few videos I would have to vlog about Harbin. So I'll try as much as possible. The old people are the most racist. <laughs> Kelvin James. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Because these old people, they don't have even phones. The fact that Chinese people are uh, um, so up there in technology doesn't mean that everybody in china knows everything about technology they do not know they do not know so these old people even have this perception that black people are bad black people are thieves african in china africans in china must dress decently because our way of dressing let them show much respect for us that's so true chinese people also get you or they understand you through how you dress how you dress tells a Chinese person that, okay, this particular person is from Africa. This particular person is from America. So sometimes you can dress as nice as you can. Sometimes I just get pissed. I just get pissed because I think today I just want my best clothes. <laughs> and you go out and somebody is like, is she Fiji <laughs> Are you from Africa? And you just have to say, where is Shama? Nigeria Shama go Shama. He just asks him, Do you know where I'm from? Sometimes ask me, ask me. It's better you ask me, Where are you from? And I'll tell you, maybe I'm from this place, I'm from that place. But the very moment you see me and then you say that, not that, let me clear this before I end the video. Not that we are 
against the fact that we are Africans or we are trying to hide our identity that we are Africans or we are trying to run away from the fact that we are Africans and we are telling these Chinese people we are from America or from Canada. We all know how you have what you sorry we all know what you have to go through before you travel outside Ghana or outside Africa. We all know how you'd have to hustle before you make ends meet to feed your family back home or do something as a black as a black boy. It's not easy for a black boy to survive in this in this kind of era. You get it. So you'd have to lie. Most people have to lie that no. I'm from America. Sometimes you'd even have to say that oh my mother is from Germany and my dad is is from Africa. My mother is from America, but my dad is from Africa. The first thing they see is your color. Exactly. Exactly. So sometimes you'd have to lie to even keep your job. Sometimes you'd have to lie to keep the process going. You could be in a relationship and for all you know, the lady, the Chinese lady is in a relationship because of the fact that you said you're from Africa. Sorry, before because of the fact that you said you're from America, because you, you said you're from Canada. Chinese people are into people from America. If you say you're, in, you're from America, how they see you is different from how they even see people from Canada, people from Australia. The fact that you are from America, it doesn't matter if you lie or not. All they see is your color. Exactly, my brother. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I remember when I was going to do the uh, Beijing subway vlog. I got on the subway. I got down. I got in a bus. Beijing, Beijing main city that you think that people are so enlightened. And I sat just beside the conductor. And he asked me, where are you from? I said, I'm from Canada. He said, really? Are black people from Canada? Because I haven't seen any black person from Canada. I just looked at him and I didn't say anything again because I thought it was ignorance at its best. How can you say black people are not from, Af are from Canada? Black people are not from Canada. Do you know the number of black people who... So I, I have a video on my channel. Are all black people from Africa? The main reason why I did that video is that in China, every single person thinks that the fact that you are black, you are from Africa. Yes, we all admit that we originated from Africa. But not all black people are from Africa. Mama Ray Ray is on the platform. Mama Ray Ray is black. But she's not from Africa. She's American. Floyd Mayweather is black. He's not from Africa. He's American. Though he can say that, okay, my ancestors, Gucci, thanks so much you have for having me. God bless you. Thanks so much, Mama Ray Ray. Hi, guys. If you haven't checked Mama Ray Ray out, I, I'm still insisting you should check her channel out. Go and show her some love. Just go there, check her content, and connect with her. Leave a genuine comment and make it stick. Yes. There are people... Um, Oprah Winfrey, Ciara, 50 Cent, a lot of people, you get it. All these people are black people. Do ad they admit that they originated or they have their ancestors from Africa. But that doesn't guarantee the fact that, thank you so much, Mama Riri. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. That doesn't guarantee the fact that they are what? They are from Africa. So sometimes Chinese people should change this perception that all black people are, some Chinese people even think black people half black blood that's <laughs> can we just kill me that's so true i went to i went to uh, my first school that i i got i got employed i think we went for medicals uh, one thing you should also know is that when you're in china and you are being offered a job they're going to take you to the hospital for you to be uh, examined medically throughout a tough one to get to know that you are physically fit you are healthy you do not have any kind of one lady asked me please why is your teeth white i was like because i brush my teeth twice a day morning and night before i sleep <laughs> so i asked her why do you have flocks on your teeth she said <laughs> Hey, she couldn't brush all day. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So apart from the fact that they think that we don't, we don't have anything to offer them, 
There are certain things black people possess that a lot of people wish they had. Our lips. They'll tell us, oh, you have a big lips. I really ad admire that. You have open eyes. Your eyes are too... I like your eyes. I like your hair. Random people touch my hair whenever I'm in the mall. They just want to see. They'll ask, is it fake or is it... So, all these things are stuff that they think that the black person possess. Sometimes I go to uh, the supermarket with my wife and people just look at her back like hey that, that that's a black booty you get it but it's all good it's all good so back to what we we're talking about the fact that they think that black people do not have all these things to offer they still admit that we have a lot of things they wish they had just like what my brother is saying a lot of chinese people a lot of chinese people you meet you'd see that their teeth are somehow with plugs with a, a whole lot and they'll ask you how come you have a white seat are you using some kind of meds are you using some kind of no we just brush our teeth twice a day twice daily that's what we do so that's it and back to what kevin james was saying some chinese even think that our bloods are black so with this medication uh, sorry with this examination a tough examination throughout your system and when he started taking out my blood everybody in the hospital came to see if my blood is red or black so you can just imagine and they were finding it so hard to even locate a vein to take out the blood every single person came to see that oh, okay he's black he's black but he has blood which is red so our blood is the same as their blood how can you even think like that how can you even think like that it's sad she doesn't brush all the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's serious. It's serious. It's serious. It's serious. okay guys so um we're still promoting the video as an awareness that something like this is going to come up pretty soon so when we upload it and you see that these chinese people are telling us something they think about africa you don't get offended because they do not know what is happening in africa and these are stuff they see on their phones every day that africa is this africa is that and the fact is they've not been there so they cannot even differentiate between the africa being a good place to be or a bad place to be so uh i think i'm going to wrap up pretty soon i'm going to say a big thank you to each and every single person out there who made it possible to join the live stream big shout outs to my demonstrators scoven james mama ray ray thank you so much every single person who came in the building it was a nice time I think this is my first life. I should even name it my first life. This is my first life. So uh, there were some touches here and there. Behind you, I see a baby nursery bed. Do you have a baby, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So that means that uh, you haven't checked out my channel in a while. So I'll plead with you to, after the stream, kindly scroll down a bit and then watch my delivery vlog and then my circumcision blog vlog for my son yes i had a son he's almost two months now yes he's almost two months now thanks for asking anyway thank you so much for asking thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much Okay, guys, um, kindly, 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 if you haven't, we, we, we wrapping up. So if you haven't hit the likes button, please click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. Let's push the agenda. I haven't even made a video for my 1K subscribers to say a big thank you to them for the 
it's it's not easy it hasn't it hasn't been easy sleepless nights doing this doing that it hasn't been easy and we look at where we started from with 11 subscribers sometimes you wake up it's 22 subscribers you go to bed you wake up and then it's it's it, it come back it declines and kevin james will bear me witness we talk to ourselves i'll tell him brother all my subscribers are vanishing i don't know what's happening he said oh Charlie, keep on push hard do this and today we have 1k plus we're so proud of ourselves uh we couldn't do this without you and we hope that you believe in our content that's why you've joined the team and what you can do to help us is to share videos anytime we put out a video you just look at at least watch for two minutes like and then don't forget to share with to a friend to also subscribe to support the movement so now we're looking forward to hitting 2k very soon we just started as, as we started this in january right so january february march april may june july seven months now and we've hit 1k people start in two years they are even struggling with 1k but we appreciate the fact that you people got us and We'll keep on bringing you awesome content, awesome content. So thank you so much for making time. This is my first uh, life, like I said, and there are touches here and there, mistakes here and there, and then we try to rectify it as a team. Paula M, I see you, sis. I see you. Thank you so much for coming through. So uh, we we'll end here. I don't even know how to end it. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not good at this. But hey, forgive me. Okay. So thank you so much. For making it here i appreciate your presence much love um out